Today I'm going to try to solve a problem I've been having lately with these one pound propane bottles. Everybody's seen these things. You screw all kinds of things on top of them. You've got double burner lanterns, single burner lanterns. They got the heaters that come on top. But what I found is when you set this thing down, it's very unstable. It wants to fall over. These four inch bottoms are just not wide enough to handle the height of this thing and the weight of it from tipping over. They do sell these bases. This one came with one of them, you could buy them separate. That's an eight inch circle, about a seven and a half to eight inch circle right there. And this propane bottle sits right in there. The problem isn't this part tipping over. It's not too bad, I like it to be wider. The problem is this one inch lip. You don't have much bottle sitting down inside this thing and it's just way too tall. It just wants to tip over all the time. So we're going to get rid of this thing and we're gonna to try to make a new base, something that's more stable that can hold these bottles from tipping over. So let's go in the garage, see what we got and put something together. So this is what I found, four inch PVC pipe. These one pound bottles fit right in there, really snug, nice and tight, just how we like it. And we're gonna to try to cut this to fit on here. This four inch PVC pipe is expensive. This is probably one of the most expensive pieces to this whole project. This is only a two foot section and it was over $10. From now on, when I'm driving down the side of the road, I'll pick up the stuff I usually look for, but if I see four inch PVC pipe sitting on the side of the road, I'm getting it. This stuff is expensive. I'll let it sit in the garage until I need it. But when I measured this thing, I already marked it up here. Let me show you this. When I measured this thing, it's over 24 inches long. It's like 24 and three quarter inches long. We're gonna cut it exactly six inches and you can see how I marked it on this thing. We're gonna go that way and we're gonna leave the line, leave the line, leave the line and then th they'll all be at least six inches. So we won't have one shorter than the rest. So they gave us a little bit free extra pipe. Don't tell nobody. All right, let's cut this. So the last one is a little bit taller than the rest because of that extra. Let's see. Yeah, the first three are perfect, but but this one right here is, I would say it's a half inch taller. We could leave it, but I don't like it. So we're gonna shape it up, take a little bit off, make them all even. Maybe I'll even save that. And the propane bottle fits right in there. That's six inches right there. Perfect. Okay, now we gotta figure out where to put this. A toilet bowl flange. Now there's a bunch of different kinds of these things. This fits four inch PVC inside the circle. So we're gonna take this and it should fit right on right inside there just like that we'll clean it off and, and we're going to glue this right into here there are flanges that are smaller and the four inch goes over top of it over top of the circle but we wanted this to go inside that way we get the full length of that six inches to hold the bottle but i got to clean these up and we're going to we're going to glue these together got a damp cloth i'm just going to wipe them off they're real staticky and they got all that white sawdust plastic dust on them we want the glue to stick to them pretty good. So we'll wipe them down. Now I could only find two of the toilet bowl flanges. The store only had two. So I'm just gonna make two bases and I'm gonna save two of these until I find, until the store restocks the other bases. They only had two in there. So that's good. That's good. Okay. So first we're gonna put this purple stuff on. I don't know what the purple stuff is, but everyone always does it.
I think it's a cleaner. Some type of cleaner. Maybe it loosens up the plastic or something so it takes the glue better. I don't know. We've got our glue. Ah, this is this is an old bottle. It's not looking good. This is a really old bottle of glue I had. Yeah, it looks like it's soft enough to to stick. It's on there. It's on there. All right, let's get it in here. I had, to, I had to push it down on the ground. So that is on. Nice. Yeah, I only got two of these, so we'll, let's just do the other one while we're here. It's almost like I need a putty knife to put this on instead of this. I probably don't even have to glue them. It's in there pretty tight, but... We don't want this to come apart at all. Okay, here we go. Number two, gotta push it down on the ground to get it on. While they're drying, we're gonna find a wider base than that ring. Let me show you. It's almost like the plastic one that it came with because the width across on this thing is is uh, set it's seven inches so it's a little bit it's a little bit smaller across than the, the plastic base we do have the height now which I like but this still isn't wide enough to me so we need to connect this onto something um, and what I found in the garage is a piece of three-quarter inch plywood I had this sitting in the garage I, I made a, a bed uh, for a, like a, a base for a bed but this is the extra piece that I had so we're gonna we're gonna try to connect this on here but we need to make it a little bit bigger we want this to be a little bit wider so we need a bigger circle than seven inch and we have to figure out a way to make a nice circle on here we could use pi times diameter squared, E equals mc squared. We could use all those formulas. We could get a string with a, with a compass or whatever. But I found a simpler method. An old flower pot. That's how we're going to do this. This flower pot is 11 inches across. So an 11 inch base versus a 7 inch base. And we're just going to put it on here and trace it out. We already traced them out. I'm going to make four, four bases since I'm already out here cutting it, and we'll save two of them with the other, the other pieces of pipe for when we need it. We'll stack it away, but let's let's cut these out. All right, we got the hacksaw out. I just put a brand new wood bit on there because this is going to be a lot of cutting. All right, let's see if we can get this done. There we go, the first one. Not real perfect, maybe I can sand it down. Not bad. All right, we've got our two bases cut out. Not perfect circles, if I would've went slower, it'd probably be better. Nice thick bases, and these are now glued. 
they keep, they ain't coming apart now so that actually worked and what we're going to do is put these right on the middle just like this and i've got some screws here let me just try to center it we're just going to eyeball it looks good and i've got some screws there's already holes here So I just screwed them on here onto the base in the center. I think what I'm gonna do is paint all this. Make this all one solid color so it doesn't look so hooky. Well, let's, let's try out the bottle. So here's the new base. And that's gonna sit right on there. That thing is not going anywhere. That could be four foot tall and I don't, I don't think that's gonna tip over at all on that all the all the weights on the bottom now and it slides completely in there it's pretty good it it actually suctions cups in there it made like a vacuum maybe I should maybe I should drill a hole in the middle here because if your hands are cold with gloves you might not be able to pull it out yeah let's put a hole in the middle I got a half inch wood bit. So there's the hole. Let's see if that makes a difference in here. Uh, that's it. That's the top secret secret. Falls right in, comes right out. So you definitely gotta put a hole in the bottom there so air can come in. Good. Let's do this other one. I can see the bottom here. And I'm gonna do my other pieces since I'm here. Right, that is a wrap. I don't have any paint. If I I could paint it and show you guys like a true finished product, but I don't have any paint right now, so I don't know. Maybe all black, so that if you set these and tried the, tr the tree stand in your hunting stand, it won't stand out if you're carrying it or something. Definitely not white. But there's the finished product. Fits right in there. So this we're gonna call this the best one pound propane bottle holder out there okay a couple days have gone by since we did this and i didn't want to finish the video until i painted it it was bothering me i was going to leave it like this but i don't like it we're going to paint them so i went to the store i got a can of black spray paint that's supposed to stick to plastic so we're just going to sand this up i'm going to smooth the edges out too that was bothering me so we'll get these edges nice and smooth so no splinters easier to grab and we'll get some uh spray paint on here that can stick to plastics but we got to rough this up a little bit so that the paint will stick to this also So I'm gonna do this one, and then I'll show you the other one. It's, it's really doing a good job smoothing these edges out. All right, check this out. Look at these edges. Look how smooth that is. Top and bottom, that's really nice. When I get paint on here, you won't even be able to tell that's a piece of plywood, and I rough this all up so the paint should stick to it but look at it before and after look at that definitely made a nice rounded edges there compared to the nice flat ones so definitely makes a difference and I can get it a little more rounder too when I sound it sand it for my cutting but let's do this one 
Yeah, look at all the, look at all the, the cuts there. Look at all the uh, splintering of the wood from the saw. We can fix that. That's that same side right there. Much better. Here's the finished product, if you can see that. It looks a lot better with the black paint on it. Much better, it'll sit inside the deer stand better. But here's, here's the reason we did it. Here's a little tiny single burner lantern. That fits in there perfectly. Here's a bigger one, one of the older styles, and it goes in here. Sometimes you gotta watch your paper. If your paper crinkles up, like right here, it might be harder to push it in. But the reason we did it is once you get to the bigger items, like here's a double burner propane lantern. And this is the base, which we talked about earlier. Now you can see the difference on that. This thing, if you walk by, it, tip, like it almost wants to fall already. Just barely tipping it with this handle. It wants to fall over. And that's not even counting like the stoves that we got. So if we take this out, which is barely in there, and now we drop it in our new holder. Look at that. That thing can't fall over. You'll know you hit that thing. So finished product. That's it. Thanks for watching.